What's abrasion? Well, it's the wearing away of the bed in the bank by the load carried in the river. So, if we imagine here, these are our load particles. Now, a river flows turbulently, which means the water moves in different directions, and therefore it moves the particles being transported in the river to collide with the riverbed and the river bank and create erosion. Now, the heavier and sharper the load, the greater the potential for erosion. And the greater the velocity of the river, the faster the load particles will be moving, and therefore erosion is likely to increase as well. The geology of the rock is important as well. Now, when we look at the geology of rock, we can consider unconsolidated rocks, such as sand and gravel. Now, gravel itself is actually a hard rock, but when it's unconsolidated, it means it's loose and broken material. So therefore, the water may, uh, is able to easily pick that up. And, of course, those sediments and particles that are crashing into the riverbed and riverbank will help knock it and break it away to erode more easily than, for example, a more resistant uh, consolidated rock, which is a solid rock or a sediment that is bonded together, which you can see an example over on this side, and that's much more difficult to erode as a result of abrasion.